welcome to 2017 Diary Vlogs. I uh, hope you're all well and you've had a, a good Christmas and New Year and all that other jazz. Um, it's mid-January now, it's a crazy bright sunny day, really high pressure, we're talking sort of 10.35 today, which uh, ain't, ain't ideal for fishing, that's for sure. But um, yeah, looking forward to getting back beyond the rods. Um, I did venture out after Christmas, I went to the other water called the White Stitch over at Staffordshire, an absolute stunning venue. Uh, to be fair, I've been a member for nearly two years and I've literally done about, what, three nights? You know, how, how bad's that? It's horrendous. But um, I just, I've just been fixated on other water. So, um, but yeah, this year I will be concentrating on the White Stitch after this session. Uh, I'm heading back down to the uh, other syndicate. The syndicate we last did a feature on, or a vlog on. We had that really nice scaly one just after, uh, just before Christmas. So that's where we're going today. I've got a couple of nights ahead of me. Uh, like I say, I'm on the way to work at the moment because uh, like an absolute plum, I forgot to do uh, a few jobs yesterday. I've got to sign off a couple of adverts with Total Carp and Carpology. So once I've done that, um, the gear's already loaded, so we'll uh, hot tail it down to the lake and uh, get the rods out. So uh, I shall speak to you when we're back inside. But yeah, definitely looking forward to this one. Cannot wait. Come on. We're at the lake, happy days. It's um, it's blowing a hoolie. It's a horrible, bitter east wind, which is uh, not the one to be fair. So I hope this is uh, picking up on the camera. But I've got here at the lake, had a good look around, and I've seen absolutely nothing, nothing to go on. Um, so yeah, it's got a horrible east wind blowing, which is proper bitter. So I fancy my chances over in the back bay on Popeye Island. Here we are in the back bay, rods are out, we're all angling, we're happy, it's absolutely bloody freezing. Uh, the wind sort of swung round on me now and I've got an easterly blowing right at me and I'm proper feeling it. Like I said earlier, it's given sort of um, minus two, minus three tonight and uh, I'm feeling that creeping in already. Um, it's half past three, so I've got about an hour and a half of light left and then I'll be taking refuge in the bivvy, trying to warm myself up a bit. You've got to love January fishing, haven't you? <laughs> But uh, I'll just quickly run you through what we're doing on the rods for this session. Uh, right hand rod, we've got that on a nice little yellow northern special. Uh, the pluses, the real buoyancy ones. And with that, I know you get sort of uh, the little sachet, the booster liquids. I've sort of discarded that liquid for this particular pot. And I've sort of given this pot a loving dosage of the betaine booster liquid. Um, I love the I love betaine as an attractor. I've always done really well on it in the winter. So uh, this pot's been sort of soaking in that for the last couple of months. Um, so yeah, I'm playing out with that one, see how that one gets on in this session. Uh, the middle rod, I've gone for a bottom bait, I've gone for a snowman setup on this one. I've teamed the live system up again with the golden spice, it's a firm favourite of mine that combination. I've always done well in the past so it's, it's more of a confidence thing. And again I haven't gone silly on the bait, again I've gone 15 to 20 baits over the top again. Um, and that's that sort of area, that's sort of straight in front, that's in about 20 foot of water. Like I say, I'm not trying to feed the fish, I'm just looking for that bite, you know, one fish off this session and I'll be absolutely over the moon for sure. Just want to get the season started really. Uh, and then left hand rod, a little bit different, I have put a bit of bait out in this one. Um, I've gone for me old favourite winter mix, I'll uh, quickly show you that now. That is the winter mix and if you see that, I am losing the light unfortunately. But I sort of knocked this stuff up at home before I came here today. Um, it's, uh, it literally starts off with just 10 mil of the live system. Um, with that, I've actually added in a good scoop of the milking pellets to that one. 
great great little pellet the milk comes nice high bright and visual loads of attractors in there they've got a nice breakdown time as well uh, to that I've then uh, married up another big scoop of the life system bag mix now that bag mix has got nice little two mil pellets in there all the life system dust so you've got all goodies in there kicking out all sorts of attractors for you and then to that lot I've given it a good mix around and I've just added some of the response cream liquid and that just sort of fuses it all together, glazes it all and again just sort of binds it to right in the spot so it gets to the bottom of the lake and just kicks off all those attractors together. Uh, and that's it, nice simple spot mix. Um, I know a few of you thinking it's crying out for a bit of sweet corn. Um, some, yeah, I tend to do sometimes but I don't know, this session I want, I want anything bright, I want it to be me up bait. I want that to be the first thing they see if it catches their eye that's the thing I want them to home in on. So having sort of 30 to 40 grains of corn in there, there's too many other things grabbing their eye. So um, I've just gone for a, a nice bright white Northern Special pop up and that's just sitting off to the side of it. Like I say, I haven't gone mad. I've only put sort of three little tiny spoms out and that's how we're playing out. So uh, like I say, um, I can't see much happening between now and nightfall. Most of the activity has been in the daytime. But like I say, we've got a full day tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully, we can get the first fish of 2017 up and running and uh, if that happens i shall keep you posted if and when it does right hopefully i'll speak to you soon well good morning people it is just gone quarter past six it's absolutely baltic cold it's freezing out there but we've got a fish in the bags yes uh 21 pound two ounce mirror proper scaly one nice and dark and it's all out winter colors so uh, uh, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing beyond belief. It come on the left hand rod over that winter mix area, the one we put out yesterday with a couple of spots. And yeah, it's done the trick. Obviously the um, the pellets and the liquids and all that have done the done the business and pulled the fish in. And we've got our prize. I absolutely, I wasn't expecting one in the dark hours anyway. I say dark hours, it's light in about an hour's time. So he's just sitting in the sling and uh, as soon as uh, Mr. Sunshine pops his head up, we'll uh, get him out and we'll show you what we got. But. Um, what a result, and uh, trust me, you'll absolutely love this fish. Yes. times indeed eh? Oh yes, lovely scaly 21 pound mirror, or just over 21, but uh, absolutely buzzing. Middle of January, it's freezing cold and my word, if you ask most carp anglers why they go fishing in January, it's uh, mainly because we're obsessed but um, also the fish look in absolutely mint condition and they have colours like this. But check oh, that absolute cracker out. What a fish, eh? Beautiful, beautiful, awesome scaly beast. Yes! What a result for January. My fingers are absolutely freezing, <laughs> but I could not be happier. Like I say, White Northern Special doing the business over that spotted area. Chuffed as you like. I've put the, uh, put the rod back on the spot now. And it, this one came from obviously the deeper side of the wall, deeper part of the water. So uh, I'm going to probably move the middle rod over to that area today. And like I say, give it uh, a couple of more medium spawns of that uh, winter mix. But chuffed as you like. Yes! <laughs> right. I will show you the other side of this glorious creature and then we'll get him back.
Oh, how cold. Oh man, it's uh, it's getting on for about 10 o'clock in the morning now and uh, we've got sort of 24 hours left of the winter session. So I've just uh, reeled in all rods. I've topped up the areas. I've moved that middle rod like we talked about before. I brought that over to sort of like the deeper area where we had the scaly one from. And, and again, I've just repeated the uh, sort of protocol really if you like that but swapped that over now to a white northern special and I've just uh, topped up over the top with sort of three of those small spots of the winter mix so yeah fingers crossed um, uh, another one may grace the bank you never know the lines are in I've repositioned the right hand rod the one that's on that single yellow um, I brought that in and I've literally just wanged it as far as I could like I say winter time I'm just trying to find the fish you know obviously we found a pocket of them to my left hand side here I've got two rods over there now uh, and like I say, this uh, right hand rod, I'm just going to use that as a roamer now for the rest of the session. Sort of bring it in every sort of two hours and just fire it in different areas and see if we can locate uh, where the fish are holding up on the, this side of the lake. But um, so far, so good. Middle of January, freezing cold, and we've had a, a lovely 20 scaly on the bank. Happy times. I'm going to retreat to the bivy now because uh, I think it's bacon butties. Yes! Middle rod boys, he's away. Well, we're in, <laughs> so I'm just going to try and position the camera so I can pick up the fight. <sighs> Middle of the day, it's just gone uh, half past one, but it's still bloody cold. Fish number two, yes! Alright, so here we are with fish number two. Again, it's taking on his beautiful winter colours and just shy of 18. Have a look at that. What an absolute little diamond. He calmed down, he's a bit livelier than the first one, but uh, he's just as pretty, isn't he? What a wicked fish, and I am loving this January session. Again, one off that winter mix area. Obviously I swapped the middle rod to it and uh, it's come good. So yeah, it was a good call. All right, I'm not, not gonna waffle on too much. Uh, the rod's already back on its spot. I did that before I got the fish out. So uh, all in all, happy times. Right, let's get this one back and uh, put the kettle on, I think. Yes. Well, that's it from me. Thank you ever so much for watching the blog. Uh, the old vessel is loaded up and ready for home to defrost me feet and fingers and more or less all of me to be fair, because it's still freezing. Uh, but yeah, middle of January, 
and uh, to bang out two absolute peachy looking mirrors like we have I'm over the moon to say the least so uh, yeah more than chuffed I shall leave you now with a little video uh, one of our customers just after Christmas sent it in to us as a thank you uh, we sent him some gear out uh, and he was kind enough to say thank you via a video so uh, I'll leave you with that and it's nice to see there's anglers in the football world thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one Hiya Jing, it's Sonic Gaffer here. Uh, just said to Steve, I just wanted to thank you um, for them, uh, the, for the, all the fishing stuff. We're going to use it, no doubt. Get a massive pike on it and break the line a few times, but uh, thanks ever so much. Really appreciate it, old pal. It's, uh, when you come away like this, a strange place, it's nice to have one or two people around him. Steve's been brilliant and I appreciate your help as well. If you're ever around here, come and have a cup of tea with me and a chat. And uh, I hope you have a, a nice Christmas and a good New Year. Cheers, Paul.